Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. This week we're going to go over the big three as well as NEO um, or Bitcoin Cash or, or Bcash depending on what you want to label it. But last week we were heading into the, um, the week, we were trading at 41.40 at time of recording and I said, I think we need to have a pullback. Okay, As this bracket ends, maybe we see a little bit more of a burst higher but we need to take a breather. Okay, We've run pretty hard, pretty fast in a short amount of time. So the market has taken that breather now. We've seen a bit of um, whipsaw. Okay, I want to zoom into a, a four hour chart because the next few days and weeks um, for Bitcoin are now really, really important if cycle bracket theory plays out the way I think it's going to. So we've definitely got a little bit of an uptrend line there with a few touches, but we haven't been able to close above um, 4,400 a few times now. We've banged our head on that ceiling. And if we can't break out um, and make new all-time highs, okay, for when this uh, wedge sort of finishes here um, on the 24th of August, we could see weakness all the way out um, to the 3rd of September when this bracket finishes. So if we break down and we get below this price where the bracket started, Cycle bracket theory says we can have a downwards drift and then I'd start to be looking at these fib levels, okay? So as far as Ethereum goes, I was looking um, I was looking again for a bit of a pullback here, two brackets pushing down and then a bit more life being breathed into the market. We did get that little bit of a decline there and then a bit of a push up. And again, I'll zoom into the four hour chart because I think... All eyes have been off Ethereum, okay? Bitcoin's had the spotlight. A few other coins have done really well. Ethereum has actually had some really positive announcements over the past week or two, but the price has just sort of stayed in this um, this range here, okay? And getting really tight now, and I actually think we're going to see this break to the upside. Um, so that, obviously, the two, the two brackets pushing up there for Ethereum is the first thing I'm looking at, but I really think we can... Um, have a really bullish breakout to the upside once we get to this the end of this which is only another day away so I'll be keeping a really close eye on this and looking closely at that 319 overhead resistance level so the brackets aren't showing up there so I'll just zoom back out quickly but that's what I'm looking at two bullish brackets pushing up and if we can resume that uptrend okay I think that's going to have a lot of force behind it Litecoin um, as always Acting as a stable coin, a lot of people can't understand why Litecoin has held up its value, but the fact is it's stood the test of time. It's been around the the second longest of any coin, and a lot of people prefer this than maybe hanging out in US dollar tether or other coins on the sidelines. And obviously, there's these two trend lines I'm looking at, um, one with the touches of the wicks and other with the closes on this daily chart, but we have gone below that. Um, daily close a couple of times but we've never gone below the touches here on the wicks and normally we put more weight into the daily closes in, in stock market trading but these markets that trade 24-7 don't really have those um, opening closes and, and the gaps between trading periods so I'm keeping an eye on both these trend lines and again an example of cycle bracket theory just look at these perfect ups and downs okay ebbs and flows of these cycle brackets important bottoms the timing's almost been perfect with this cycle bracket theory and see if we can't get another push up before we have that pullback there to the end of august with litecoin so neo now coming into last week i was saying that my brackets were a bit of a guide but i was hoping that they would stay true as they have guided us relatively well but we're trading right around here at the um, edge of this pennant and I said I thought we we're going to break out to the upside and sure enough we got a nice big move almost 50% profit okay if you've traded that well um, then we got this decline um, a bit of a bounce here as these brackets sort of look to push up but again cycle bracket theory says now that we've made new lows we could see weakness remain for the length of this cycle bracket and Let's not forget, this has run really hard, really fast again, and this bracket bottoms around the 25th of August, so a week from now, this downtrend line's in place at, um, just here, so overhead resistance would have to be the first thing that we that we break um, 
Otherwise, I, we could see this just continue to drift down here before we get that next push up from the that bracket if my cycle brackets hold true for for Neo there. So the final thing I want to look at and talk about is um, Bitcoin Cash. So for my members, I advise selling on day one to lock in some profits with that um, free money, if you will. But then I did advise to buy back in for $200 and hold this as a hedge because I thought both coins could succeed um, to certain degrees. And this is almost a, a bit of a hedge and in insurance in case anything happens to the yeah, main Bitcoin network and sure enough we've seen the difficulty adjust it's become profitable to mine Segwit2x headlines have started to raise their head a little bit and we've seen a huge bounce now and well done to members who have tripled their money on that one but again consolidating around a high fib level here so I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this to see if we can consolidate around this level and possibly even have another push higher who knows but if you've held both coins You've gone from having a combined value of $2,000 only a month or two ago to a combined value of $5,000 almost now. So you've done really well um, in that aspect alone. So as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. Plenty of action to look forward to this week, okay? Um, I hope you've liked that video. Please share and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for tuning in.